Okay, so here we are, two bridge cottages, how cable, nice country setting, little shared access lane to get to the parking in the garden. So here you can see you've got the parking area for two bridge cottages. There's easily four parking spaces there, so no trouble at all. And then just in front of the parking area, you've got the garden to the property, which is a good size. You'll notice that the front garden is not actually attached to the property itself. It's slightly detached from the house and you have access through a gate here that takes you through next door's garden to the front door. Okay, so here's the front porch which is uh, shared with the adjoining property. Um, as you can see, it's quite an impressive looking porch really, and you can just see, I zoom up to it, the date stamp on the front of the building, which is 1913, so that's when it was built. It's got a, a lovely old timber door as well, so we'll go on in there and have a look now. So here we are in the front room. It's got some really nice period features in here, obviously open brick fireplace there and some original built-in covers to the chimney recess. Off into the kitchen and then obviously stairs going up. The property's double glazed throughout and it's got oil-fired central heating as well. The kitchen. Kitchen's pretty new, um, and there's a brand new cooker, in fact. And there is room, actually, in here to put uh, a little table and chairs, sort of in that area there. And through, we go to a uh, rear lobby and that's got quite a useful understairs cupboard just through there and of course there's a door that takes you out to the rear garden and off to our left we've got the bathroom there's a white suite It's got an independent shower over the bath as well. So going up the stairs, uh, the first thing you come to is a decent sized cupboard on the split landing, uh, which has got a power point in there so you could easily put in some sort of an electrical appliance such as a condensing tumble dryer or a, a chest freezer or something similar to that. And then going up the stairs, very light up here as well, a nice light landing. And the first thing you see as you get up here is the view. Lovely aspect from the rear of the property over the garden and open fields. A decent sized landing area. And of course you've got airing cupboard, cupboard above, and access to the loft up there. Now this one's the guest bedroom. Bedroom number two. Lovely period fireplace. And oak flooring, which is all in excellent condition. And of course, another great view out there. And 
Okay, back out to the landing. This one is bedroom three, again, nice solid wood flooring in there. Good aspect out of the uh, front window. So that looks over gardens and, you know, distant trees. Very quiet location this. That's there ready. If someone wanted to make this a home office, it's ready for a top uh, worktop to be put on top uh, as a workstation. But obviously could easily be removed if someone wanted it as a bedroom. And then this is the main bedroom through here. Again, lovely period fireplace. Really nice, spacious room. Again, with solid oak flooring, which is all in really good condition. And a nice aspect again out of the window over the gardens. Okay, the rear garden then. It's not as big as the front garden, obviously, uh, but. It's very pleasant aspect over the fields. And then you can see the new exterior mounted uh, oil fired boiler there. There is a pedestrian right of access um, for the neighbouring property to come through to put out bins and uh, whatever they need to bring through, but also that enables the owner of this property also to go through this gate, um, around the property, to the front, to bring whatever they need to bring through. really are on the edge of the countryside here, it's lovely, very quiet. <laughs> 